Madam Secretary, first, take us inside where things stand right now. Well, I mean, what we've been seeing all along is that these folks are making this up as they go along. They're grasping at straws. And I think this latest Senate subpoena shows that. I'm really glad for the for Maricopa County's response. I mean, this request is ridiculous. Um, what the Senate is asking for is ridiculous. And they just need to wrap this up. It is not an exercise designed to uh, validate the election. It's designed to continue to undermine voter confidence. And we just need to end now and move forward and prepare for the 2022 election. Madam Secretary, there's some great reporting in The New Yorker this week about who is paying for the audit. Let me read some of it to you. We'll talk about it on the other side. Um, Although the Arizona audit may appear to be the product of local extremists, it has been fed by sophisticated, well-funded national organizations whose boards of directors include some of the country's wealthiest and highest profile conservatives. Dark money organizations sustained by undisclosed donors have relentlessly promoted the myth that American elections are rife with fraud. And according to leaked records of their internal deliberations, they have drafted, supported, and in some cases taken credit for state laws that make it harder to vote. Do you think the people of Arizona are aware of the dark out-of-state money funding what is going on in their state? I mean, absolutely. People have expressed concern from the beginning of how this was getting paid for, who was paying for it, and certainly concerned about their taxpayer dollars going towards it. And we knew that wasn't the case. And we knew that the sources of funds were probably um, very partisan and there folks who were promoting these conspiracy theories about the election. And quite frankly, Arizonans are tired of these partisan games. Uh, and that's Part of why I'm running for governor is to get to work on real problems that we're dealing with in Arizona and um, and not, you know, continue to rehash the 2020 election uh, that was over nine months ago. It is amazing that it is nine months in the rearview mirror and still going strong. I think one of the things that thrusts it onto the front pages of all of our newspapers are the revelations and the congressional investigations into what was going on at the Justice Department. We learned that Donald Trump was trying to use his Justice Department to overturn the results in places like Arizona. I want to play um, some of the messages, some of the pressure campaign that was underway from the president's closest legal advisors. This is um, a message that Rudy Giuliani left um, for some of the Maricopa County officials. Listen. Hey, Clint, it's Rudy Giuliani. I was very um, happy to see that there's going to be forensic audit of the machines. And I really wanted to talk to you about it a bit. The president wanted me to give you a call. All right. Thank you. Bill, it's Rudy Giuliani, uh, President Trump's lawyer. If you get a chance, would you please give me a call? I have a few things I'd like to talk over with you. Maybe we can get this thing fixed up. You know, I really think it's a shame that Republicans sort of were both in this kind of situation. And I think there may be a, a nice way to resolve this for, for everybody. Hi, Steve, it's Rudy. Uh, I see. I see. We're going to get a chance to take a good look at those machines, and we got people that are ready to come out right now. Let's get it done quickly. Madam Secretary, I have to give credit to um, Ryan and his newspaper. It's their excellent reporting that has made those uh, voicemails public to all of us. But were you aware at the time that those calls were coming in from Rudy Giuliani to Maricopa County election officials? No, we were not aware. And, you know, certainly with most Arizonans finding out about this, it was highly alarming. And this is irregular, not something that you would, is normal in the course of conducting an election. Ryan, I, I want to come to you on, on um, sort of the investigative reporting, which has turned inside out what this effort is. Uh, Jane Marish reporting a dark money funded um effort clearly rooted in disinformation. The voicemails prove that this was, you know, the lawyer most closely aligned with Donald Trump's campaign to overturn the government. And the revelations this week, most recently from ABC News, that this was a top to bottom executive branch effort to overturn the will of the vote, including in your state. I wonder if there is fatigue, if this lands with fresh alarm. What is the reaction in Arizona? Fatigue is a good word, and I think you could really sense that in the uh, in the county supervisor's letter uh, this week. You know, they're, those are Republicans that were taking the calls or ignoring the calls from Mr. Giuliani. Um, 
So they've for months now had this pressure on them. And, and now their own party is, you know, calling them traitors, uh, as you showed earlier, suggesting they be put in solitary confinement. Um, these are Republicans who supported Trump, but are unwilling to uh, undo a fair election that they oversaw in the county. And they're pretty wary and uh, tempers are, uh, are flaring, at, like you saw in that letter. Ryan, what is, can, can you just pl pull the string forward for us? What happens next? When does this end? What authority does the state have to end it? Well, that's a great question. Uh, we're all waiting for it. To, and we're all very eager for, for the final report from the cyber ninjas and their findings. Uh, what they told us most recently at, at a hearing was that they don't have enough information to make any conclusions yet. And they want more information from the county and the county saying we've given you some of the things you're asking for if you lost them we'll provide them to you again some of this we're not going to give to you um but it doesn't seem like an end is near because they're they're going to continue to fight in court over what they can get from the county uh and the senate is also fighting on two different fronts uh to keep all the records from this audit secret so the arizona republic has sued the Senate and cyber ninjas trying to get their communications and another group called American Oversight has sued and they're fighting both of those uh, lawsuits for, for public records. So the audit itself could drag on for weeks more, maybe. And the fight over these records looks like it's going to drag on for a while as well. Tim Miller, with, with respect to um, Ryan's body of reporting, he is the preeminent expert on what's happening in the state and the secretary's official duties. It is absolute horse you-know-what that we're all waiting on pins and needles for cyber ninjas to finish anything other than lunch. They are not auditors. They do not have any record of success as auditors. Their owners are associated with the farcical sort of fantasy football version of a coup of turning over the election result. How did we get here? Oh, well, Donald Trump is how we got here, Nicole. Um, but I, I do just want to say, Ryan, and the Arizona Republic's reporting has just been absolutely critical. And I'm now an Arizona Republic subscriber because as I've been trying to follow this from for not being in state, local journalism really does matter. And it's showing in this case, it's important that this is exposed. I think the big reason why you have uh, a small slice, but but a, a noticeable slice in Arizona of, of Republicans who, have, who are saying enough to this is because of the revelations that we've seen from from journalists about just how gonzo and how nonsense this, you know, cyber ninja um, uh, fraud it is. And, and the thing that worries me the most about all this, Nicole, and I know we talked about this before, but it's just worth repeating, is this is a powder keg right now. You know, when you look at what happened on January 6th, the reason why that was allowed to get out of control is because there was this decision point and there was a moment and there was a gathering place and people were upset and people were angry. I looked at this Arizona audit release as, as the next potential inflection point. Hopefully, God willing, that passes without any incident. But that is very much a moment where let's say the, the ninjas come out and, and obviously that they're going to fabricate whatever they think that they need to say to to, to shine to sh uh, shed some doubt on the results. And, and that people, you know, whether it's uh, journalists, my colleagues on this panel, or, or people who are vote counters, or, you know, government officials in the state, I, I think are going to have real threats, and there's going to be real concerns. And you can see now if you're watching, which I have to suffer through, you know, the Steve Bannon podcast and some of these other far right things, uh, you can see now an, a gathering moment again where, you know, once again, there are rallies starting. Once again, the, there are efforts starting to, to push back on this with, with the Arizona audit being, um, you know, the central, uh, uh, the central point and the central moment.